Oh shit. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> hey there. Oh no 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 nothing. It's just uh impressive to see that you also managed to break into the estate. <laughs> hey, you don't tell anyone, and uh, I won't also tell anyone. That would be really counterproductive to get us both busted in the middle of this. <laughs> You know, I think that we should keep it down. Any punching and shoving around is probably going to alert some guards. <sighs> Thank you. Mm. Uh, wow, you are uh, looking as great as ever. <laughs> hey, what did I say back in Brazil? We can admire each other's merchandise, but we can not touch the merchandise. You know what I mean. Uh, anyways. <clears throat> How much are you being paid to steal this thing for? A hundred thousand. You know, I can see why you took this job. But, if you hear me out, maybe I can entice you to joining my side. That is a gun. Okay, um, hold on. <laughs> Please. No, no, no. I, I, I swear, I'm making a convincing offer. Alright? To, to find this treasure, whatever you're looking for, I can promise you it's worth much more than a hundred thousand and whatever heartbreak that we both went through with each other way back in the day. Wait, you... You think that golden knife in this room is the real treasure? Are you sure you got your head screwed on tight enough? Or the, oh, okay, that's a gun. I, I know, I know. Just hear me out, for real this time. All right, no tricks, no backup, no sudden explosions with my ragtag team of adventurers fighting yours fist to fist and we all escape and whoever loses swears the other will rule the day it's that sort of thing all right hear me out that golden knife you're looking for you can you can grab that you can run away with your 100k and that'll be all you get paid by whoever is buying you out and that's it but you have to hear me out that this is only one step in something much bigger, and that's probably what your client's after. Alright. Okay, so... Obviously, we're breaking into the Russian Duke's house or whatever. His whole thing is that he, his family and bloodline is rich enough to have inherited a lot of possessions from the past, mostly just historical artifacts. This is one of them, but there is a reason that he keeps it in a room and not in some museum. All right, can I please hold that knife? No, not inside of me, by the handle, please. <laughs> Listen, you beat my ass for the coordinates back here, and I still managed to get onto them. Haven't I earned this? I mean, you, you sure as hell earned it yourself. You kicked my ass, but the point is, I'm trying to tell you something here. Something that'll definitely help. This is a nice bedroom, by the way. Rich Russian families really living it up. Anyways, let me hold the knife, please. Thank you. And... Okay, so... This golden knife belonged to Vasily II. It was given to him by his son as a gift, Ivan III. Uh, he was the big Russian emperor king guy from way, way back in the day, who basically unified Russia into kind of the shape that we see it in today. Now, Ivan allegedly created something called the Golden Library. I believe that library has been lost to time. Nobody knows where it is, but it 
apparently holds a lot of historical books and different tombs from different tomes from around the world that if brought back to light a lot of people are going to want to see that there's probably so much lost history in those things that we wouldn't even know where to begin yeah that's the kind of world changing treasure that we well we'd have to see what it would contain in order to really understand but yeah Anyways, look at the engravings on this nut. It, actually, look at the. This is film. Yeah, no, this is. These aren't engravings. This is a thin sheet of wrapping around the blade. It's. it's circular, too. Wait a minute. That tiny globe. Hand it over real quick. Thanks, beautiful. All right, um. <clears throat> Don't call you that? Got it. All right, um. Let's wrap this film around the tiny globe. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I feel so smart right now. Look at this. The knife and this film here. Wrap it up and it aligns perfectly with some of the markings on this globe. And way up north is an X. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Look. No, 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 look. Okay, so more historical mumbling. That's what I'm good for. Alright, so... Way back in the day, while Ivan III was doing all of this thing with, you know, unifying Russia and taking over his blind father, Vasily II, he sent an expedition to go to the Arctic. Now, we don't know why they sent, were sent there and what they found. But I'm starting to think it might have something to do with this. If this map on the blade that he hid with his father and went through painstaking God knows what to keep these things two together, but also not obvious enough to find one another. On this globe here, it... I think whatever that expedition was up to in the Arctic, it has to do with the Golden Library. <laughs> exactly. Shit. You're right. There's a button right here. A key. I think you just found the key to the Golden Library. Hidden inside a compartment in this knife. You know, I... Never mind. I... Well, no, I was just going to say that I forgot how good you were at this. I mean, sure, you almost uh, just walked away with 100k while who knows who, who you're working for was going to steal the entire world-changing treasure from under us, but... <laughs> You're pretty damn good at finding these clues. I, um... I'm not working for anyone right now. I did what we used to do back in the day. <laughs> we get a client who's overly excited to shell out thousands of dollars to hire us to find the treasure. Really, they don't know that we're after the bigger picture, and just when they think they're ahead, they pull the rug from right under them. <laughs> oh, that was great. Remember Tibet? Ah, oh, that was great when <sighs> that 
German bastard we were working for was all over this treasure. The priceless gold lost under the sea, and it was truly just buried away because he didn't think that humanity was ready to bear the weight of what it all truly meant, and hell, I am willing to believe that it was cursed at this rate, but And we screwed him over, and that was... That was fun. Kinda miss it. And I... Kinda miss you. <laughs> you know, through all the fist fights and uh, dodging bullets and crumbling ancient cities on top of us and jumping away from it right at the just at the perfect time before we're crushed to death. It, I'm glad you survived all of it, really. What I'm saying is, is that we're better off not pointing guns and knives at each other. Maybe... I know we were stupid. Alright, we said a lot of awful things to one another. And we got greedy and dumb and we put our work ahead of one another, but listen, if you can just join me for a little bit, join my team, I'm sure Daniel will be happy to see you again. Just come with us and I swear we'll have a hell of a time finding this thing. It'd be a real big rug pull on that client if they're offering you 100k. And... I don't know, maybe... Maybe we can try to make things work again. And if you don't like things, you can walk away. You can take the knife, throw it at your client, whoever it is, that's a hundred K right in your pocket and live the rest of your life a happy person. But I do want to make things work. Oh well, yeah, I would feel pretty shitty if I ended up shooting you in the head on accident. <laughs> if I really wanted to shoot you, I would absolutely have done it back at the jungle. You were sprinting away, you think you're faster than bullets? I was just shooting around you to sell the scare or whatever, and uh... <laughs> oh, you did the same for me. <laughs> Flattered. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, the party's still going on downstairs. Who knows how long. Just a bunch of old, drunk, rich people probably have plenty of time in here to, you know, scan around for anything else we might have missed and get out. Though I'm pretty safe in saying that we already know where to go next. We still have quite a while though. Oh yeah, I locked the bedroom door behind me. What? <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 here, on the, some rich Russian noble's bed? I mean, I mean, not, not, not that I, uh, you know, not that I want to stop, it's just, uh, didn't, I didn't take you for, uh, that risky of a person. <laughs> Or maybe the adrenaline's just getting to you. Oh no, I am more than willing. I'm sure they're gonna ask about the weird smell or why the entire room is torn apart, but... Well, we can make them wonder. <laughs> Come here.
Hey everyone, thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this audio, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything that really helps. Uh, I wanted to make this kind of audio again. I really love the sort of uh, trope of enemies to lovers, and I wanted to add a fun little spin with kind of treasure hunting thieves. <laughs> and it uh, ended up being a lot of fun to record, and also just to be able to write it out, because... I love the Indiana Jones or Uncharted style of like treasure hunting story where they incorporate real world lost treasures and artifacts and history into these winding stories about both the past and the present characters doing what was that. So I really wanted to make an audio that kind of felt like you were in the middle of one of those stories. And yeah, I had a lot of fun making this, but anyways, wanted to thank you for making it to the end and give a special thanks to the following patrons on the Diplomat and Higher Tier. Len Girl, Kitty243, Sammy Samar, Alicia, Clarabelle Pagan, Ailswith, MG, Deborah Bossard, Silverhawk EG, Christopher Stevens, Christy Hall, Wendy Wayne, Miss Effie, Patrice Gilton, Helios Flame, K. Inspector Lemon, Mia Khan, GD, Wannabe Bunny Girl, Safadil, Ravioli Senpai, Outer, Freaky Flatwoods, Ray Brightskills, Roses in Blue, Mermaid Aurora, Manda, Rame 14 and Jenga Power. Again, those are all my patrons on the Diplomat and Higher Tier, and if you want to join them, the link to the patrons in the description below. Anyways, hope you guys have a good one, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.